Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are going to be taking kind of a first look at a new-ish uh, turn-based war game called The Troop. Uh, this is a World War II war game uh, that takes place, I believe, only in Western Europe, kind of around the D-Day invasion, at least that's where it starts. Um, this is a game that I have played previously, but when I played it, it was only available as a demo. So it was sort of like a Steam Next Fest thing. The game hadn't come out yet. And so we played some of the story missions um, that uh, in in the game. I, I, I Since then, the game has come out. I believe it came out last winter. Um, and so it's been out for a little while, but not, not entirely, uh, you know, like, what, six months or so? Um, and so we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, in the finished form. Now, we also are going to be taking a look at a game mode that I have not played yet, and so it will be a first look at the campaign mode of the game. And we'll see if we want to, you know, we want to keep playing this, if this is something that sticks with folks or, or what. So when we played before, we played the story mode. You can see there's some different sort of explanations of the different game modes. Training basically open-ended scenarios that introduce the basics of the game mechanics. Story, a series of historically inspired scenarios telling the story of the British and Commonwealth struggle against German forces in Normandy. Um, they're not linked, though. They're like individual. The story, the story scenarios are like individual scenarios. So I think we played Contact... Maybe per mer terum, and I think crossroads or something like that. Um, but you can see there's there's a bunch of story mode battles. Um, I haven't played most of them, but you can see there's quite a few. There's you know a good selection of scenarios here. Some of them are new. I know the developer released new content. Uh, was it in December? I think it was. But he's like been periodically putting out new new stuff. Um, I'm not sure what the epilogue is, but, um, there's also a skirmish mode, which, you know, is, as what you would expect. It's kind of a, you go in and you, you kind of just play quick battles, if you will. And then there's also the campaign modes and battle groups. So if we go back to the, can I go back to the main menu? Uh, I don't know how. Oh, uh, not that. Yeah, okay, so battle groups are dynamic five to nine mission operations played with randomized persistent player force. So kind of like sandbox campaign. In the campaign, you basically take command of a specific unit and you fight uh, a series of linked historic scenarios. Losses are permanent, but surviving units gain experience and effectiveness. So we're going to go into the campaign here and we are going to do what? Um, first off, what are the difficulty levels? There's harder, default, easier... So go default, that's normal, I guess, middle middle range. Um, in terms of the campaigns, there are, I think, four campaigns. Uh, there's the 8th Armored Brigade, uh, which is one of six independent armored brigades operating in Normandy, landed on Gold Beach on D-Day and fought with distinction thereafter, reinforced by infantry and anti-tank units from the 50th Northumbrian Division. The brigades advance into Normandy countryside did not begin until June 8th. By this point, a significant German force had already reached the Normandy front in its sector, most notably the superbly equipped veterans of the Panzerlehr Division. What to expect in this campaign? A highly mobile armored force with lots of Shermans, including some five Cs, fireflies, and a few light tanks. Armored infantry in the form of half-track motor battalion. Later campaign will see support from centaurs of the Royal Marines Armored Support Group. So this one actually sounds pretty interesting. Um, there are four, like I said. There's also the 31st Tank Brigade which is you'd command a brigade that has Churchill tanks, which I guess were not super common in Normandy. Um, it was apparently one of the few units that uh, had Churchill tanks, um, and they're basically a support tank um, for infantry support. So this is a tough but slow, inf tough but tough but slow. Infantry tanks accompanied by towed, self-propelled, dedicated heavy anti-tank assets, Plentiful regular and veteran infantry support by universal carriers and scout cars for recon duty. Crocodile flame-throwing tanks. That sounds kind of neat. Then you've got two German campaigns. You've got the 21st Panzer Division, uh, which is the only German Panzer Division in Normandy immediately during the D-Day invasion. Um, and then you've got the S... Uh, just, it just says SS Panzer Division, so I suppose it's just sort of any SS Panzer Division. Um, I think we're going to go with an allied campaign. 
for now anyway. And I think we're going to go with the Eighth. The Eighth sounds the most interesting. I like the idea of fighting with Shermans. The Churchill sounds interesting, but I'm not sure I want to get into an infantry heavy campaign when I don't know the game as well. Like we played it, but it was in the demo when we played it. So let's go with the Eighth Armored Brigade and, you know, if we like it and we enjoy it, then maybe we'll, you know, maybe we'll do another campaign. Here we go. Okay, so this would appear to be our brigade. Uh, we've got six pound battery anti-tank guns, two of them by the looks of it. I don't know what the 200 is here. We've got infantry platoons up here along the top, some machine gun units, half tracks, and then on the bottom you've got your armored formations here. So two, 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 okay. We do have one Churchill I'm assuming AVRE is a flamethrower tank by the looks of it, but I could be wrong. And I assume we just start. Okay, so it looks like there are seven battles in this particular campaign. Oh, it's a mortar. Got it. Thanks. The the Churchill. Um, all right, so seven missions here. The first one starts on June 8th, 1944. Advance to contact the situation. The brigade was delayed from its D-Day mission to, of advancing to seize the Ville Bourgage, but will resume its advance today toward Tilly sur Sulis. I might be mispronouncing that, but doing my best. Uh, the enemy in front of us is the 352nd Infantry Division. Light resistance is expected for the time being. I'm sure it is. Uh, push south through an enemy, any enemy encountered. Uh, mixed terrain, hedgerows, orchards, and small hamlets. Hamlets? Are we in Vietnam? Uh, weather is overcast. So far in the actual campaign, player losses zero, enemy losses zero, in progress, default difficulty. Let's go ahead and play. Aiming is cumulative, given long enough any tank, or a tank can make any shot. That's like, that's like a baseball moniker, or basketball moniker, you don't, you don't, you know, you miss all the shots you don't take. So, do I... Alright, so this is interesting. You have to choose the force you're going to bring to each mission. The budget available is 1400 You can select up to 36 units. You can have a late deployment, which reduces the cost of those units. I don't know that I want anti-tank guns yet, because we don't have any intel that there's going to be German armor, and they're probably slow to maneuver, and we only have a handful of them. So I don't know. Let's let's do this here. We probably want Man, this feels like I should know the game better. We probably want a recon section. Two infantry platoons. Oh man, that chewed up like all of my Alright, so we'll go with a recon section and one infantry platoon. I like the idea of some off-map artillery. Mortar observer off-map. Yeah, you can you can modify late with late deployment. Um, we could go. I don't know that I want to cheap out with Stewarts. We think it's primarily infantry, right? So I'm going to go with an armored car section. And then we'll do one tank section. I'm not going to go with fireflies. We don't think we need them. Remember, this is all cumulative too. So whatever we lose here, that carries over. I don't know that I want to go with any late deployment. Like a late deployment of armor would make sense, possibly. How much? So we could do... Could we do two of them if we did two late deployments? No. If we pulled the scout cars, we could, but... I don't see any reason to do a late deployment. Oh, whoops. Let's just do... Let's see here, 380 we've got... Right, 
we are gonna do the Sherman Mark II troop with a Sherman with two Sherman Mark IIs. I don't know what's specific about the Mark II. Are they? They're probably seventy-five millimeter, I assume. But I don't I don't know enough about the Mark II to know how it's different than the Mark III. Looks like maybe it doesn't have some side skirts on the turret. But let's go for it. Leaves me with sixty points available. I mean, we could do a MG section if we did them late, but that doesn't make a lot of sense because we'd probably want them deployed like up front, right? Uh, so I think that's gonna be it. I think we're just gonna go deploy and map. I don't, I don't know what I'm. Receiving. I don't know what I've got my, you know, got in store here. Reporting. Right, let's deploy these guys. I can move, right? Relocate. Okay. Interesting. All right, so I can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, Q, E, rotate, W, S, D, move forward and whatnot. A sniper yes, team, eh? Is this one of the objectives? So there's an objective over here. Looks like we're already on top of that objective. Um, Receiving. I don't love the sniper team Receiving. being like... I mean, I'd love to get them in a building with a good vantage point, but are there going to be bad guys here? Or where's the deployment zone for the Germans? How close can they get? Are they deploying, like, right along? Alright, we're going to relocate this mortar team to the rear. Receiving. A dingo armored car! What's this circular? Is this... I don't know. All right, I don't, I don't want my mortar teams forward. I want them in the back, somewhat in cover. I don't love how bunched up they might be, but okay. Receiving. We do have some LMGs though, so that's nice. Let's get this guy over here. I'm assuming there's no one going to start in this one objective, but Receiving. it'd be nice to have some support here. I'm guessing I'm way too boxed, boxed in. All right, so we're going to start with real time. We're going to go ahead and start the battle. All right. So... These guys are in this wood line. Receiving. It's an infantry group. Receiving. What is this? Are these guys were infantry too? On the move. Okay. So we've taken the objective. Yay. Presumably the enemy's deployed back here, maybe around these stone walls. Yes, sir. Let's get our uh, sniper forward, too. I'd like to get him in this building if we can. I think he's undercover here still. What's the exclamation point? Maybe that means you can't move and shoot. Where's our other recon vehicle? Our two tanks are back here. Do we just have the one recon vehicle? I thought we had the two. Oh, here's the Daimler. Alright. 
The hedgerows are going to make this more difficult. Alright, any sign of anything up here? So you can see this little line here where it cuts through the shade is where he's got his line of sight. Reporting. HQ group will move forward. We'll just get everybody moved forward. I really kind of want to concentrate around this sort of box of trees. And then this house here. Maybe that'll provide cover as we move up the street. Receiving. Left flank is a little bit of a concern. Let's get those tanks moving too. Reporting. Moving out. So I'm assuming the exclamation point means that you can't move and then shoot. You could use too many movement points up. Look at those pretty, pretty Shermans. Receiving. All right. You can't move. Oh, because you're set up. Okay. On our way. Yes, sir. On our way. Reporting. Receiving. On the move. Okay. So these guys can't move while they're set up, but we can pack them up and get them moving. So they're basically like, hey, we're all in position, ready to shell the enemy. There's no reason to be that far back. They should be in contact with the, the rest of the troop. So pack these guys up, get them moving. These hedgerows are really kind of annoying, though. You can see how they really restrict your movement. You, you There's only a handful of, like, hexes that I can actually move through. All right, where's the front of this wood line? All right, so they're already kind of in it. We're going to move these guys here. I didn't like that they moved out through the open to get there, but I'm going to move them to the front of this wood line. There's apparently some anti-tank obstacles on this roadway. So there's definitely Germans around. You can see we really can't see much out this way. I'm assuming they're going to use these two houses as cover for maybe some MGs or things like that, but I guess we'll find out. I don't know that anybody else can really move at this time. Everybody else is pretty much... Those guys can't move further. Yeah, okay, so we'll end the first turn. We've got 12 turns, by the way. Well, thank you, Artis. That's kinder than most folks are. Alright, so no sign of the enemy yet. We do know they've taken this objective, so it is in German hands. Receiving. Yes, sir. Sniper team. All right, get in that building. I'm assuming you're in that. No, you're in front of the building? Can you not go in the building? I don't understand. Huh. Strange. Alright, well, we will slowly creep forward here. Let's get the uh, recon car a little bit further forward also. Receiving. Uh. Oh shit! Germans! And tanks! What kind of gun do you have on here? 
Unit info? Harris's armored car! Alright, well... Receiving. You can reverse back into cover, but we know there's a German... Is this a Stug? Yeah, okay. So we know there's Germans on our flank. We can reverse back here, presumably back behind cover. So if we advance through here, we will be advancing with our flank in the air. I don't think the enemy can see me yet. Yes, sir. On our way. I'm a little leery of enemy artillery that could get called down on us. Receiving. On the move. But let's use this wood line as cover. What does this thing have? It, okay, that's not... Not really what I wanted to know. Alright. I still think I'm safe here. 12 turns seems... Reporting. Short. It feels a little bit like you're gonna have to rush. don't really want to move my... Man, you use all your points just rotating? I don't know that I want to push over to the right flank quite yet. Gotta hope there's no Germans on the left over here. Very likely there are. Reporting. Moving out. Receiving. On the move. Okay. The, the filter they use makes it feel post-apocalyptic? It's very green, I'll say that. I didn't really want my men to stay out in the open like that. Um... So, let's end that turn. I do. I mean, those guys can move, but not really. So, no. We'll just... We'll just... Can they shoot at anything? Receiving. What did I do? Uh, I, hit the, I hit the wrong button. Yes, sir. Yeah, you can't really see over here and shoot, so... No, we'll just... We'll just end the turn. There's more German armor. God damn intelligence. I've got two tanks. And there's at least three enemy Stug 3s. I feel like my only chance is if they have, if we detect them, like if we spot them and fire first. They are short barreled guns, so I'll give them that. Stug life. <laughs> Assault guns. Sorry, they're not tanks. Alright. Yes, Where's our mortar teams? They're back here. Receiving. Receiving. Does anybody have any... Receiving. These guys just... They have yes, no... Sir. Anti-tank yes, weaponry, sir. do they? Yes, sir. Oh, God. On our way. Let's 
It's going to be like that Band of Brothers scene where the troops in the wood line all get driven back, except we'll have no armor coming to the rescue. No piots that I can see. Smoke grenades. Like, how do I... By the way, I'm curious how I can see... Yes, sir. What's going on. Can my sniper... 65% chance of what? Hitting the vehicle? Maybe forcing him to button up? That doesn't sound wise. Alright, can you see the bad guy from here? Oh no. Minimal? Minimal chance. Alright, I'm gonna rotate. Oh, why did I. Now I can't. Ugh. My guns. My guns are pointed in the wrong direction. Do we have smoke? Can we drop smoke? Our sniper team has smoke. smoke. Popping smoke. Maybe that'll block the line of Receiving. line of sight for those bad guys. My mortar. The problem is my mortar teams are not currently Receiving. deployed. But yes, I'm assuming they can drop smoke on the enemy if we call a barrage in. Yes, sir. On our way. We're forming up a nice line here in this wood line. Maybe we're going to, you know, just line up boys, give them some musketry. Receiving. Just uh, need to have some stiff upper lip and... Hit him with the with the volley fire. Mm, what's this? Oh, this is our HQ group. Never mind. Moving out. Receiving. Right, I'm not going to reveal ourselves there. We'll have the vehicle back up a bit. Okay. I don't know what's setting up the... So this is the mortar team. I don't know why I thought they were an off-map spotter. Oh, that's what these guys are. Never mind. Reporting. I think. Receiving. Yeah. Reporting. Okay. I guess we end the turn here?
I hope they can't actually see through here. I'm hoping there's like no visibility here. It's, it's through multiple trees. There's a minimal chance of a hit, so I'm not I'm not going to give away my position. We'll just end the turn and see what happens. That's right, so enemy armor still moving through. They are moving unbuttoned. Oh no! Well, that was quick. Bastards. And our boys are quickly suppressed. Should have gone in with more armor, huh? Alright, so did we get damaged? It says the turret is... Can the turret not rotate? Oh wait, I'm hitting the wrong button. Or maybe I'm not. How about you reverse the tank? Okay. So I've got a minimal chance to hit anything, huh? Fuck it. Maybe I'll at least force him to button up hurt his situational awareness. Yes, sir. They know yes, we're sir. here, boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My sniper didn't do anything versus the tank, which is not not a surprise. That enemy infantry should be not having a good day. Maybe we can wound someone with the stupid turret being open. Does it say tracks hit? Because that'd be pretty sweet if we dis you know disabled it. You know, one of the nice things with the the Stug or not so nice things is they can't like. If you destroy the tracks on the Stug, that's a bigger impact to the Stug than most other vehicles. Receiving. All right, I think we're relatively safe here, depending on where the enemy moves. Reporting. On the way. That went through? Wow! Reporting. What is this? What gun size? What size gun does this thing have? Two pounder gun? I don't know what that is. How large is a two pounder? They should at least button up, right?
Okay, so my turret's damaged, I think. Receiving. Does it tell me if... We've got one crew member who's wounded, so that probably doesn't help. Let's see what they do here. Alright, they're deploying smoke. And then moving through the smoke? That was a pretty cool smoke deployment, I will say. So they shot at my armored car but missed by the looks of it. Okay, let's see what the armored car can do. Two pounders, 40 millimeter, 81% chance to hit. Deflected! Hit front! I should have reversed. You're toast. Anybody have smoke they can toss to help you out? Probably not. Alright, let's move over here, maybe? Out. This is the HQ unit, so maybe maybe not the soundest of decisions here. Up smoke. So hopefully that keeps the uh, armored car safe. Receiving. Reporting. Ah, we missed. I probably should have rotated the tank so we weren't showing our broadside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Receiving. Receiving. Um. Receiving. Smoke shell. Okay. I know it doesn't... I'm not... Medium off map mortar. Mortar smoke. Yes. The goal is to smoke the area out, not... I wish it did more... Okay, never mind. It's gonna, it's gonna drop smoke over a wide area, or at least a couple of hexes. Okay. Alright, everybody, I know we're just getting started in this fight, but this is a little bit of a longer battle, so I'm actually going to split it into two parts. Part two is a doozy. This was taken from my live stream on my Twitch channel the other night. If you're interested in following those, link in the description. We might play this again tomorrow night uh, for the second battle in the campaign. Uh, but part two, we'll finish this battle up. It'll come out tomorrow. Let me know if you want to see more of the troop. Um, I don't know how good of a feel you got for it in just today's video since we didn't finish the first battle. But still, uh, I'm enjoying myself. You know, I'm kind of feeling my way through this. Like I said, this is a first look since the game came out fully. Uh, and I'm being maybe a little bit more cautious than I should be. But I'd rather let the Germans come to me and me hold my defensive position in that wood line. And so far, that seems to be something that uh, at least hasn't killed us yet. Although we have taken some damage. They got some initial good shots on us. Hopefully, the smoke conceals us and kind of gets us back in the fight. That being said, that's going to do it for today's episode. Until next time, it's the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out. Receiving.